rain and cold, and now they've announced the summer for the next two months. Climate change, there we go. That's why we have a CAPE meeting downstairs, I suppose. So, we keep having fun this afternoon. As you can see on stage, we're already kidding a bit, so this is a, a good way to get the afternoon session going. This afternoon, we continue looking at innovation in aviation security. And speaking of innovation, and again, for those of you who have downloaded the app, you now have access to a live blog. So you can follow the summary of each of the sessions from day one as we go. We have a live blog giving you the highlights of each of the sessions. So as we progress throughout the symposium, we can go back, see what some of the speakers have said, get the main points, the main highlights out of the symposium, and build that into your comprehensive overview of the event this week. And of course, it will help you to review and assess the symposium and the sessions on your app. There we go. So, innovation. Security processes and techno technological innovations. So the question is, how do we encourage states and stakeholders to devise, establish, and share new and innovative ways to implement security policies and sustainable aviation security measures through people, process, and technology innovation? And to lead us into this, I think it will be a fascinating afternoon, is Angela Gittens. Angela is well known to all of you as Director General of Airports Council International, ACI World. She's also a terrific friend of ICAO and of the entire international aviation community. We were just remarking before the session begins that Having ACI here next door is terrific for the two main important themes that are coming out of this symposium, collaboration and sharing. Being neighbors literally across the street allows us to discuss, share, attend meetings, and together ensure that air transport worldwide progresses in a very safe and orderly manner. So with that in mind, it's my great pleasure to invite a great friend, Angela Gittens. Angela. Thank you very much, Dani. I was uh, telling Dani about that about half my staff is in this building, some in this room and others at various meetings and conclaves, uh, uh, talking to their colleagues at ICAO, collaborating and cooperating uh, as, we, as we like to do. So, good afternoon. I think we've had a productive symposium thus far. I'm delighted to open the segment of the program dedicated to airports and their stakeholders. Uh, this inaugural event builds on the solid foundation of ACI ICAO initiatives, as Denny was saying, related to aviation security and the sustainable development of the industry. You know, with the current global security climate, and the repeated occurrence of terrorist threats and incidents, states and industry remain challenged. The recent ban on electronic items in the aircraft cabin by the US and the UK for flights coming from selected airports has highlighted the need for flexible, risk-based measures and collaboration among all stakeholders. Clearly, the safety and security of the aviation system and the traveling public is a shared priority for all industry stakeholders, from regulators and government to airlines and airport partners and security-related specialists and manufacturers. We are all part of a society that has seen continued evolution of threats to security, but we are all part of the society that seeks the solution to this ever-mutating threat to day-to-day -day life. Airports are committed to do their part. Just as security threats are dynamic, so too is technology, from computer tomography to biometric recognition. Advanced technology has become one of the most relevant tools to both mitigate and prevent security threats. In the case of a crisis, automated explosive detection and, and artificial intelligence have the potential to help screeners make better decisions. 
Automated identity management using biometrics will help us ensure that we know who our passengers are and screen them accordingly. Airports are increasingly placing a higher priority on technology and process innovations, some of the latest of which are being showcased in the exhibition here. Many of these demonstrations are being provided by ACI's world business partners who play a key role in bringing new technology to market. As well with growing numbers of passengers and limited space, we cannot keep creating more processing layers and longer queues. We need to find new and innovative ways of tackling security challenges. There's no one solution for all airports. Rather, airports and aviation stakeholders must work together to ensure that integrated solutions are in line with regulatory requirements and the needs, facilities, and risk profile of the airport. This is why events such as this symposium are so crucial. We need platforms for industry experts to elaborate on best practices and new technologies which can lead to real global improvements. The rest of the day and tomorrow will feature case studies and live demonstrations on topics ranging from behavior detection and canine teams to all kinds of other equipment and facial recognition. For now, I'd like to briefly illustrate how ACI contributes to ensure that, ACI, that civil avi aviation remains the safest and most secure means of transport for the traveling public, focusing particularly on IT and innovative processes. Earlier this year, last May, ACI participated in the ICAO AVSEC panel where several papers put forward uh, or received strong support from states. These included the encouragement for states to continue participation in the ACI IATA Smart Security Program and eliciting their support for the ACI APEX in Security Program. Smart Security seeks to make the security regimen more effective and ready to accommodate the expected growth in traffic by moving towards a more risk-based approach and facilitating the piloting of technology, processes, and equipment at airports. Smart security solutions already being implemented worldwide included, include automated screening lanes, advanced x-ray equipment, remote cabin, bag, cabin baggage screening, and lane design, which is for, for increased passenger throughput. We have seen some very strong results and compelling improvements. And in fact, we will have the opportunity to hear from one of our leading participating Amst uh, airports, Amsterdam Schiphol. To assist with airports' ability to implement the most appropriate, effective, and efficient security measures, since 2016, ACI World has been conducting pilots of an APEX security program, including pilot reviews in Mauritius, Indonesia, and Zambia. And we will officially launch the program at our annual General Assembly conference and exhibition in Mauritius this coming October. For those of you not familiar with APEX, it is a voluntary capacity building program. It stands for Airport Excellence. It enables airports to benefit from the experience of other ex experts through a peer review process. An APEX and security review combines the mandate for regulatory compliance with the actual day-to-day -day operational needs of airports in order to maximize operational efficiency while enhancing the standard of security. Technology and innov innovative processes are fundamental components. Following on educational initiatives, ACI's global training offers a new airport security diploma as well as freestanding courses that provide airports with up-to-date knowledge for compliance with current regulations and ACI best practices. Courses now available include security, airport operations, and behavior detection, with a new management course jointly developed with ICAO and a quality management course coming online later in the year. Finally, as by, and by no means least, as we've heard about yesterday, cybersecurity remains high on ACI's agenda. We have been happy to play an active role in multidisciplinary groups dealing with the issue and have contributed to ICAO guidance material through our airport experts. Specifically for airports, ACI offers the Airport IT Security Benchmarking Tool to help airports protect themselves against cyber attacks. 
The software allows operators to perform a thorough risk assessment of key control areas and benchmark their operations against best practice at other airports. And while security threats and technologies are evolving, so too are passenger expectations. Travelers are becoming increasingly comfortable with digital services and expect a bespoke experience tailored to their needs. This includes a seamless journey with minimal waiting times, identification touch points, and security checks. Those airports that are best able to cater to such needs will have an advantage over their comp competitors. The culmination of these factors underlines the need for our continued engagement as an industry in global programs and activities alongside continued collaboration with our partners. I'd like to take this opportunity to thank ICAO, speakers, and delegates for sharing this belief by participating in AFSEC 2017. And let me close and wish you all a productive and enjoyable rest of the symposium. Thank you. Thank you so much, Angela. I feel now that we will enter a scientific journey, a twilight zone maybe, I don't know. <laughs> Perhaps, I was reading your biography and uh, I caught a few words and I think I understand a bit, but I'm very, very much looking forward, like all of us, to your presentation. Let me introduce... Director General of Airports Council International World. ACI is proud to be collaborating with ICAO on this important security symposium, which will build on the solid foundation of ACI ICAO initiatives that we have done before with respect to aviation security and on the sustainable development of the industry. We are all part of a society that has seen the continued evolution of threats to our day-to-day -day life. Maintaining the safety and security of the traveling public is a shared priority for all industry stakeholders, national and local authorities, and with airports playing a critical role. This first annual Global Aviation Security Symposium will bring together aviation security professionals from around the world to discuss a new mindset for aviation security, one that embraces a culture beyond a set of standards. Together with our member airports, we have identified critical issues facing the industry and have developed a program within the conference that will focus on the latest security processes and technological innovations. In addition to in-depth airport case studies, we have planned unique demonstration sessions which will bring together many of the industry's leading solution providers to show how the latest technologies are being deployed. I encourage airports and partners to attend this event, which will showcase innovation, technology, and human factors in the airport environment and will provide an opportunity to discuss solutions with many of the world's regulators. I look forward to seeing you at this important gathering in September. You should be there.